Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brigazoids Den. Got some news that I'm a little late to, of course, because again, last week when this news came out, I was not able to record, so I'm getting to it right now. Or actually a couple weeks ago when this video comes out. I don't remember, whatever. I'm moving on. That's not important. So there have been I think there's like a, there was an interview or something with one of the the designers for Lego Harry Potter. And this designer was talking about why they are not making Deathly Hallows sets. Which is a shame, because I'm personally, I'm someone who wants to see Deathly Hallows sets, or sets based off of Deathly Hallows, however you want to say it. So basically what they said, this is the quote, For the first few years of the relaunch, we had a clear strategy of focusing on the first few movies, then to move on to the Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, etc., um, for 2021, we had a blank slate and got to look back at what we can can do that's fresh to keep the franchise relevant. Relevant. God, sorry. <laughs> that's where we decided to go for a soft restart on the story. So instead of looking at specific movies, we decided to look at key moments. We reflected on what started the franchise, picking some of the strong sets and reinventing them to fit how we design sets now, as a love letter to the first sets. It's definitely not to say we won't cover the later movies at some point, but they do not tend to be aimed at a higher... Sorry, they do tend to be aimed at a higher age, which is why we target the first few movies, he said. Our overall values are more in line with the first movies, where there's more magic, and the universal theme of a wizarding school is more in line with our values. I mean, come on. That... So they're basically breaking it all down here. They're basically saying that the later movies, meaning Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2, are two, are aimed more at older people instead of the younger children, and they're not going to do it because they don't want younger children, or they don't want to highlight bad topics for younger children or something like that. You know what I'm trying to say. But I don't actually get that point, because they made sets like the like Mustafar, you know what I mean, where Anakin gets cut, his legs cut off and then burned. You know, and like they made like a, for that Monster Fighters theme, they made a freaky graveyard, which was kind of creepy, and there was like a guy who had like blood on him or something, and there was like a dead gr uh, bride and groom or something like that. Like, I, I don't know, I mean, they've done pretty harsh topics before, pretty scary, what I would think, scary topics. And they didn't even do those in the past. Like they recently, I believe 2020, they made an Anakin versus Obi Wan Mustafar set for like 20 bucks. So I don't really get why they're saying that. Oh no, they're too adult. You don't. And on top of that, you don't even have to include some of like the bad things that happened in those movies. Like uh, I'm just trying to think of one. In like some of the death scenes in that in the movie were mo although most of them were kind of off screen. But you know what I'm saying. Like you could still do a battle at Hogwarts with play features to, I don't know, make fire or something that shows up when you hit, like, a lever on the side or something. I don't know. I think you understand where I'm going coming from here, but I want Deathly Hallows sets, and if this is the reason why they're not doing them, I'm not, I'm not very happy. Because if you saw my um, Harry Potter set wishlist video, I talked about saying that I want Deathly Hallows sets. I'd rather have Deathly Hallows sets than anything else. But it sounds like they won't be doing them for a little while, which is not exactly something I'm looking for. Uh, looking for. First off, I want a D to see Gringotts, and I feel like if they were to make a Deathly Hallows wave, that would be a perfect set, because I believe in Deathly Hallows Part One. There was that scene in Gringotts with the dragon, and they were trying to get the. Uh, I don't even remember what they were trying to get, but I, I actually have to rewatch those movies. I have to. I have to, to rewatch those movies, but you know what I'm trying to say here. There was there was a Green God scene, and I think it would be perfect for a nice D to C set, like 250 bucks. Give us a pretty good amount of minifigures, and just call it a day. There's our Green Gods; it can connect to our diagon alley. But that, it seems like they're not gonna do it, and I I don't know. It's just it's not good. It's not good. So, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here with with this Deathly Hallows business, but I hope it gets. I hope I hope they come out soon, and I'm worried for next year being 2022. Of them just going back through Prisoner of Azkaban and um, in Goblet of Fire and just making more sets for those, which I'm not crazy opposed to, 
But I'd much rather have a Deathly Hallows wave than another Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire wave. Yeah, I don't know. That that's 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 just how I'm feeling. All right, so that's pretty much it for this for the sad news. Um, if you enjoyed that video, comment YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you when I post the next video in the future.